Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carr. In today's video, I just wanted to give some tips and tricks on how to create your own thumbnail for your YouTube channel, especially if you're a software engineer. I have my own programming software engineering channel and I was able to learn through a lot of cool videos on YouTube and I thought I would share on how I basically enabled to efficiently make thumbnails for my channel. Of course, I'm not perfect, but um, you can, I'm able to create these thumbnails relatively quickly within less than five minutes, saves me a lot of time. I got a lot of knowledge from Justin Odisho's video on how to make YouTube thumbnails, so I'll link that down below. But let's quickly make a thumbnail. So I already took some photos. I took a photo of me in a good high quality camera image. And also I got a background from uh, pixels.com. So P-E-X-E-L-S.com. They have some free images there. So if you have Adobe Photoshop, all you have to do is create new. Uh, make sure that you are able to go to the film in video section and make sure that you look for the pixels 1280 times 720. So that's the size of a thumbnail. So I would select that and create new. So from here, you could just do some simple things. So my normal workflow is to have a background image and then from that include a photo of myself and then I can create a border around my body. So it's highlighted and then some text of whatever the video is about. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is add the background. So I have the background right here. So I'll just dr uh, drop and drag. So you can see right there. Once you have this, you can see these little boxes. So I'll just expand it so it goes the full amount. So I have a nice background right there. Now from there, I'm going to make sure I deselect it by clicking on this little four corner arrow set section right here. And then now I'm gonna add my photo. So this is really the real magic of uh, the Photoshop thumbnails come in. So next what you're going to, want to do is go to the object mapper so you, or the object selection tool. So it's this little dotted square box of a, a solid square and then this little arrow sign right here. So all you have to do is click on that and then I usually make sure to highlight my whole body, whatever I want highlighted. So I want it highlighted basically from my arm, the silhouette of my body, and the chair as well. So Photoshop is smart enough to know how to outline that and they'll usually give a good approximation of what your body outline is. So let that process, you can see it's almost perfect. Um, there are some things that we uh, could do better at, but for the most uh, purposes, if you have a solid outline of your body that's not near any of these objects, it's fine. So what do we do next? We select a mask. From there, we can add some smoothing a little bit of feather, a little bit of contrast, and then shift edge just slightly. I don't like to do it too much, 4% is perfect. And then you can hit okay down below. So from there, you can double click again, and then layer via copy. So why is this important? Because you actually get this outline. So from this outline, now you'll see on the right side that we have multiple layers. So we have our background right here, we have our actual photo right here, and then the outline of our body. So if we were to click on this eye icon right here, we can remove that layer and see I have an outline right here. So how do I move this? So I can just click on that four corner arrow icon right there and then move it right here. So from there, you can have a lot of options. You can actually go on edit above. I know you can't see it in the screen share, but when you have Photoshop open, you'll have these options. So you just drop down. You can transform your photo in a lot of ways. You can actually flip it horizontally or vertically. And then also you can add a stroke. So to create this border, I would create a stroke. And then let's just create a nice white background. And you can actually see that we had it at five pixels. So it was actually perfect. Once it's 10, it's a little fat. So from there, when I hit okay, uh, okay, we're gonna have a nice border. I can basically just move everything here. In a normal fo photo, I, I know you see that little like space here. If you don't have anything in the background, it's actually gonna highlight the body perfectly. And again, to make it simple, all we have to do is add a little task right here. And you can have it be any type of text. I just have this by default. So how to make a YouTube thumbnail. And we'll just make sure we can move that. 
The font's a little too big, so we can actually modify that. Let's make that closer to 72. Oops, right here. Make sure everything is highlighted, so 72. We'll move it again so it's like clear where it's at. I don't like the black here, so we can actually just change this to white. So you see on the right side of your screen, you have the color here, so you can actually just change that to white. And actually the font, I'm not sure about the font. Let's make it a little bit more lively. So we can just drop down to these. Down below, you'll see the changes. I like this bungee. Move that again. And there's basically to kind of specify my audience, I'll also do a little section for like software engineers. So we just add the text here. for software engineers. Make this smaller. So you also don't want to make the thumbnail too busy. But the reason I'm doing it here just uh, to basically target my audience. Make sure that's at 30. Nice and consistent, and then I'll just move it down below here. Okay, and that's basically something simple you can do. Uh, make sure you save it continuously as you work. So I'm gonna save this on my lap, uh, laptop, so Photoshop thumb. And then you can also export it. So you export it uh, clicking on File after this has been saved. You export a quick export as PNG, and this is uh, perfectly acceptable for YouTube. Yep, so that's how you quickly make a thumbnail um, as a software engineer. Thank you guys for joining, and please let me know if you have any questions. Cheers, thanks.